welcome all uh, this is the third lecture on uh, thermodynamics questions and uh, in this lecture uh, the focus will be on entropy generation irreversibility second law and unsteady state so let us get into the uh, questions straight away now this is the first question steam enters the turbine at 10 mega pascal and 60 uh, sorry 600 degree centigrade with a mass flow rate of 16 kg per second so the mass flow rate is given as 16 kg per second so steam is entering the turbine and exits the turbine as a saturated vapor so look at my dear students generally the steam enters as a super at superheated state so if i show you on ts diagram it will be something like this this is a constant pressure line and this is one more constant pressure line he clearly said this it may be reversible it may be irreversible doesn't matter it may be like this also he has not given anything koi problem nahi. but clearly he said the exit is at uh, on saturated vapor Ek bar the exit uh, where is that the steam exits as saturated vapor at 10 kilopascal so this is 10 kilopascal and it is exiting as saturated saturated vapor and let this be entry and please don't get confused ki, sir he has not said reversible adiabatic irreversible don't worry it may be like this also it may be like this also it may be like this also but uh, you know that uh, the point is on saturated vapor the point is on saturated vapor okay no problem at all now uh, under steady conditions the turbine generates 16.2 megawatt power Ek bar, it is generating a power of 16.2 megawatt 16.2 megawatt mega means i can write it as 10 power 3 kilowatt absolutely fine so you know that work uh, power is equal to mass flow rate into work and if you want work that is power by mass flow rate the power is given in kilowatt that is kilojoule per second and the mass flow rate is kg per second so you will get this work in kilojoule per kg let me calculate the work developed by the turbine that is 16.2 into 10 power 3 by mass flow rate is uh, already given it is 16 so if you see the work is given by so i have uh, ready made values the work is 1012.1012.5 and the unit is kilojoule per kg no problem at all is it required let's see uh, no problem if the ambient temperature is 25 degrees centigrade the ambient temperature is convert in kelvin 273 plus 25 and the ambient temperature is 298 kelvin no problem at all uh, the rate of entropy generation the total entropy generation is let us do it very neatly and he has given yes superheated steam at 600 so dekho this is our superheated steam at this condition the properties are given the properties are given now uh, definitely it's not reversible because if you see the entropy at one it is six point something it is six point something uh, definitely it's not reversible so they, therefore why it is not reversible because the entry in entropy is 6.90 and the exit entropy look at carefully at uh, 10 mega pascal 600 degree centigrade this is the, these are the entry conditions entry conditions entropy is given it is less and the exit entropy is uh, it is leaving as saturated vapor so definitely this is the exit saturated vapor means it is leaving at saturated vapor so sg is the entropy at the exit of the turbine that is uh, 8.15 so there is an increase of entropy so definitely it's not reversible Ye nahi hai. so it means it's something like this it means it is something like this something like this something like this so this is my two and this is one so therefore the, this is s1 and this is s2 so now dear students ek second ruko either ek second ruko and you know that ds is equal to d dash q by t plus del s generation we know this very well no problem at all one second please let us take a system and these are surroundings now whatever the system is losing surroundings are gaining or it can be other way also whatever surroundings are losing system is gaining so dear students let us take this as my system can i call this as universe area system plus surroundings so let me take universe as our 
system under consideration. So for universe, what is the heat transfer? Zero. Why? Because whatever is occurring, it is occurring between these two. But I have taken this as the system. So if I write entropy change of universe, and you know, agar hum universe ko likh rahe, for from universe, this is the boundary. For universe, this is the boundary. So neither the heat is transferred uh, from the system nor to the system. Agar hum universe ki baat kar rahe, everything is occurring inside. Everything is occurring inside system surroundings. But if I take as a whole, if I take as a whole, nothing is leaving, nothing is entering. So for universe, it is an isolated system. So the heat transfer is zero plus zero by T plus del S generation. So therefore, entropy change of universe is equal to entropy generation. This is a wonderful conclusion. So if you want entropy generation, you just calculate entropy change of universe and universe is nothing but system plus surroundings, no problem at all. And that will be equal to our entropy generation. So entropy change of universe is equal to entropy generation. Calculate the entropy change of system, calculate the entropy change of surroundings and add and that will give me the entropy generation. Chalo, no problem at all. Now, dear students, let's proceed now. Uh, see the question. See the question. He is asking entropy generation. So now I will write. So the total entropy generation is given by entropy change of system. That is our turbine. In the turbine, the fluid is flowing plus entropy change of surroundings. Okay, no problem at all. Let's understand this carefully. Now, this is the turbine, the fluid is entering and the fluid is leaving. So therefore, from this turbine, there is a heat transfer. Let's check what is the heat transfer. For calculating this, and the surroundings are at temperature T0, okay? There is no problem in calculating the entropy change of, uh, of the fluid in the turbine because the exit uh, and inlet entropies are given uh, for the fluid flowing through the turbine. So therefore, for turbine, I can calculate it is exit, let us say this is 1 and this is 2 and 2 it is saturated vapor. At 1 it is 10 mega Pascal and 600 degree centigrade. So if I check at 1, uh, 10, uh, they could 10 mega Pascal 600, the entropy is given 6.9028, 6.9028. This entropy is given as 6.9028 and the exit entropy, let me check. And the exit entropy, it is saturated vapor 8.1501. So it is 8.1501. This is 8.1501. So if I am calculating the entropy change for uh, fluid in the turbine, so it will be, so therefore, S2 minus S1, it is 8.1501 minus 6.9028. So this is given in kilojoule per kg Kelvin. It is 1.2473. It is 1.2473 and the unit is kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Now, in order to, the surroundings are acting like a reservoir that is sink, it is absorbing. And for a reservoir, I have already explained to you in my regular classes, for a reservoir, the entropy change is nothing but Q by T. Because whatever the heat is uh, transferred to the surroundings and you know, now I am calculating for surroundings. So surroundings ke liye, these surroundings are absorbing heat, therefore it will be plus. My surroundings are gaining heat. Turbi in turbine, the fluid is losing. So therefore, my surroundings are gaining. So it will be plus for uh, uh, surroundings. It is gaining. And surroundings are at constant temperature, which is uh, 298 Kelvin. I think it is given as 25. Nah? Yeah, it is 298 Kelvin. So no problem. If you calculate the entropy change of surroundings, how surroundings are acting like reservoir, it is Q by T. So if I calculate Q by T, the problem is solved. So if I, for that I need Q, how do I calculate Q? Apply steady flow energy equation. What is that? H1 plus C1 square by 2 plus Z1G plus Q is equal to H2 plus C2 square by 2 plus Z2G plus W. And please note down clearly. Dekho, he clearly said in the problem, neglect changes in kinetic and potential energy of the uh, steam. Now he said neglect kinetic change potential change. So the equation will be H1 plus Q is equal to H2 plus W. And please note on that all these are in kilojoule per kg. That's why I calculated the work value because power was given. I divided with mass flow rate. So this is in kilojoule per kg. Enthalpies are given in kilojoule per kg. So therefore at the inlet 10 mega Pascal 600 degree centigrade, the enthalpy is given. Go to the value. At uh, 
10 degrees centigrade, uh, 10 megapascal 600, the enthalpy is given. What is that enthalpy? 3625.34. 3625.34. Plus Q is equal to H2. What is H2? It is leaving as saturated vapor. So therefore, now it is leaving as saturated vapor. So saturated vapor. Uh, where is that? It is saturated vapor. It's where is that? It is 10 kilopascal. This is 10 kilopascal. It is saturated. It is saturated. So printing mistake. So this enthalpy is given Hg. I want Hg only because it is saturated vapor. 2584.63. 2584.63 this is 2584.63 and already work is known 1012 point I think we have calculated 0.5 so this is 5 so everything is known calculate the value of Q so the value of Q is uh, it's coming out to be mm, kaha gaya? wait 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 28.21 I think 28.21 it is 28.21 kilojoule per kg what does negative sign show this equation we have applied for a fluid flowing through turbine so from the turbine the fluid is losing heat so therefore as this is applied for a fluid in the turbine the fluid is losing so therefore it is minus minus sign indicates our fluid is losing who is gaining surroundings so therefore for surroundings this heat will be plus if you are calculating the entropy change of surroundings it will be plus it will be plus so let me calculate the entropy change of surroundings if I calculate entropy change of surroundings, it will be Q by T naught. And Q is, it is for surroundings. Don't take minus because this equation was applied for a fluid in flowing through the turbine. So therefore fluid from the, in the turbine, it is losing. Therefore for fluid, it is negative. But who is gaining surroundings? So I'm applying for surroundings. Surroundings are acting like reservoir. For reservoir, it is Q by T. So therefore it will be plus. Now it will not be minus. It will be 28.21 by the temperature is 298. Is it correct? Is the temperature 290? Yes, surrounding temperatures are 290. So let me calculate the entropy change of surroundings. If I calculate the entropy change of surroundings, it is 0 0.09466 unit. This is kilojoule per kg and the temperature is in Kelvin. Yes, this is the entropy change of surroundings 0 0.09 you have calculated the entropy change of fluid in the turbine that is system this i will take it as system uh, the fluid which is flowing through the turbine as system the fluid in the turbine as system and this is surroundings for system the entropy change is 1.2473 and for surroundings it is 0 0.0946 so add both so therefore the entropy change of universe is equal to entropy change of system what is our system which is flowing through our turbine plus entropy change of surroundings how much is this so therefore entropy change of universe will be equal to let me check it is 1.2473 1.2473 plus surroundings is one second please and surroundings is 0 0.09466 0 0.09466 and all are in kilojoule per kg kelvin so entropy change of universe is equal to uh, if i add i am getting 1.34 to 1.342 unit is kilojoule per kg kelvin and he is asking but it is for 1 kg how much mass is flowing so therefore the total entropy gen and already i have told you that entropy change of universe is equal to entropy generation Ek bar check karna. Uh, just now i derived so therefore this is also equal to 1.342 kilojoule per kg kelvin so for 1 kg this much is generated but how much mass is flowing 16 kg so therefore total entropy generated he is asking total total entropy generated he is he has asked in rate means now it will be mass for it it is for 1 kg what is the mass for it 16 unit kg per second into 1.34 to what is the unit kilojoule per kg kelvin kg kg is gone kilojoule per second is kilowatt so it is kilowatt per kelvin that is nothing but rate why do we call it as rate because so many kilojoule of entropy is generated per second per unit temperature per second that is known as rate rate means kilowatt so if i am calculating i think i am getting this as 21.47 kilowatt per kelvin so the answer is 21.47 so he has the total yes kilowatt per kelvin so it is 21.47 this is a wonderful question, my dear students. This is a wonderful question. Okay. Now, let's move to the next question. But same question in a different way. Entropy generation pe hi karenge hum. Uh, we'll, take up, uh, we'll take up this question later. So, we'll take this question. Uh, ye wala le lenge. 
So, yeah. Take this. This is also a very good question. Let's do some good questions today. Steam enters a turbine at 5 megapascal 600 and exits as saturated vapor. Again, the same. So, superheated steam is entering and saturated vapor, it is leaving as saturated vapor under steady conditions. The turbine loses heat to the surroundings at 50 kilojoule per uh, kg. Therefore, how much is the heat loss? It is 50 kilojoule per kg. What does it mean? It means our fluid in the turbine, let us take it as system, it is losing. So if you are applying for a fluid in the turbine, it is minus. But surroundings are gaining, for surroundings it will be plus. Okay, no problem. Mm. The ambient temperature is 300 Kelvin. So I will write the surrounding temperature as 300 Kelvin. Okay, then what is given? The heat transfer to the surrounding takes place at the outer surface of the turbine at 450. Okay, this is very, very important. This is very important. This is the turbine. Okay, the fluid is entering and the fluid is leaving, let us say. And the temperature of this turbine, it is given as the average temperature as 450. So from the surface temperature is given as 450. From 450, it is losing heat to surroundings and surroundings are at 300. So how much heat it is losing? They call higher temperature lower. From higher to lower, heat is lost. So our fluid in the turbine, which I consider it as a system, it is losing heat. How much heat it is losing? 50 kilojoule for 1 kg of steam flowing through this turbine. So for... Uh, surroundings this heat is plus and for system it is minus if i take this as a system it is losing so for system it will be minus and for surroundings it will be plus next uh, the irreversibility per unit mass of per unit mass means what for one kg flowing through the turbine matlab he is focusing only on turbine through the turbine he is focusing irreversibility in the turbine irreversibility in the turbine <coughs> and neglect kinetic potential energy changes okay leave it now you know my dear students irreversibility equation i have derived in class it is t naught into entropy generation we have seen goyes todola theorem goyes todola theorem in our uh, uh, regular thermodynamics class in plus that is rate of irreversibility is proportional to rate of entropy generation because ambient temperature is constant i is proportional to delta generation so what is entropy generation entropy generation is nothing but entropy change of universe okay no problem but you have a question here bahut easy question hai. but he is asking entropy he is asking irreversibility in the turbine only in the turbine only in the turbine matlab he is focusing only on turbine he is focusing only on turbine mediations bahut important hai ek bar question ko dekhna irreversibility through the turbine through the turbine means he is not focusing on any other things only in the turbine so we are taking this as our universe Ab yehi hai mera, yehi hai. and if he is focusing only on turbine only on turbine dekho ek bar, only on turbine ds is equal to d dash q by t plus del s generation so Ariyar, in previous case, it was total. Dekho ek bar. Question ko dhang se samjho. That's why I'm doing these questions. That's why I'm doing these questions. Dekho. He asked total, total. That's why I took system surroundings. But now he is focusing only on the fluid in the turbine. In the turbine. So, please look at carefully. There is entropy generated in the turbine. There is entropy generated in the surroundings. So, therefore, total universe entropy generation is system plus surroundings. But here in the in this question, so in this question, he is focusing only on irreversibility in the turbine. They call irreversibility, irreversibility through the turbine. So, therefore, focus only on turbine. So, this is to be applied only for turbine because he is focusing only on turbine. So, what is this entropy change? The fluid is entering at one and leaving at 2 so therefore s2 minus s1 but this is only for fluid through turbine and d dash q by t plus del s generation if you calculate entropy generation and surrounding temperatures is already given i can calculate the irreversibility ek bar. what is exit entropy ek bar. the exit entropy is it is leaving as saturated vapor so it is leaving as saturated vapor at 50 kilopascal so it is 7.5931 so therefore, 7 7.5931 is the exit entropy. And what is the inlet entropy? What is the inlet entropy? It is this entropy. Because it is entering at 5 megapascal 600. 7.2605. 7 7.2605. 7 7.2605 is equal to this you are applying for fluid in turbine. But you know our fluid in the turbine is losing. So therefore, you have to take care of turbine 
temperature and fluid which is losing so for fluid this is applied for a fluid in the turbine in the turbine the fluid is losing so what will be this heat transfer it should be minus because you have applied he is asking irreversibility through the turbine turbine so in the turbine the fluid is losing so therefore it will be fluid whatever it is losing it should be minus and the turbine temperature everything is turbine now therefore heat transfer is minus 50 and the turbine temperature is 450 absolutely fine plus entropy generation so therefore the entropy generation is given by if i calculate this i will get the entropy generation as 0.4437 7.3 yes 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 0 0.4437 0 4437 kilojoule per kg kelvin and what is he asking irreversibility so kya karenge irreversibility it is only in the turbine he is focusing dekho question ko dekho through irreversibility through the turbine so just focus on turbine so therefore irreversibility is equal to the uh, ambient temperature is given as 3 not 300 and you know already I have derived the equation of irreversibility already I have derived in my regular classes so therefore don't get confused t naught into entropy generation what is entropy generation 0. 0.4437 let us check the unit uh, t naught is in kelvin entropy generation is in kilojoule per kg kelvin this is kilojoule per kg kelvin so kelvin kelvin is gone you will get kilojoule per kg how much is that how much is that 133 roughly it is 133 kilojoule per kg so the irreversibility is he is asking in kilojoule per kg so therefore again it is a fill in the blank question it is roughly 133 this is also a good question this is also a good question very good now let's move to the next question hmm. this we have completed now aha, take this question take this question let's not waste sir let's not waste time what of what will do it a rigid insulated container okay a rigid insulated container so it is rigid container means the total volume is constant the volume of the container it is insulated uh, is divided into two parts by a thin partition okay this is the thin partition is divided into two parts by a thin partition very thin very thin means the volume occupied by this partition is negligible that is the meaning uh, one part uh, of the container contains 6 kg of saturated liquid vapor mixture with a dryness fraction of 0.7 so note down that this one part contains liquid vapor mixture and the dryness fraction is 0.7 what is the mass given dear students 6 kg so here the mass is 6 kg means here there is a fluid which is in the wet region it has some liquid it has some vapor and the dryness fraction is given okay mm, 6 kg liquid the dryness fraction. and the pressure is 0.3 mega pascal so here the pressure is 0 0.3 mega pascal okay the other part contains 12 kg of saturated liquid means f 12 kg of saturated liquid means f f the second part so this is this is uh, what is the mass given here the mass is given as 12 and the dryness fraction is 0 why on the saturated liquid curve on the saturated liquid curve the dryness fraction is 0 on the saturated vapor it is 1 so therefore it is here is second part now mm, 12 kg uh, at 0.6 mega pascal the pressure is given as 0 0.6 mega pascal okay mm. when the partition is removed and the contents are in equilibrium find the final specific volume of the mixture this is also a good question not that tough but it is expected question it is expected question what is he saying let me tell you very clearly there is liquid vapor mixture means this is at this okay ek baat. Uh, the pressure is given as 0.3 look at this is let us take this as 1 and let us take this as 2 so this is 1 uh, 0.3 mega pascal 6 kg of this mixture and the dryness fraction is 0.7 and 12 kg is at 0.6 either they let this pressure be 0.6 but it is saturated liquid so this is 2 these two fluids are mixed up and what is he asking when they are mixing with each other he is asking resultant equilibrium specific volume resultant equilibrium specific volume very simple so how do we do this very simple says after mixing you have something like this the partition is removed let us say the partition is removed now after mixing 
So can I write if this volume is V, final total volume is, if this volume is V1, this volume is V2, volume is an extensive property. If you want the total extensive property, you add. So if this volume is V1, this volume is V2, the total volume is V1 plus V2. And you know what is the total mass? It is M1 plus M2. So therefore, already you know this mass. This is M1 and this is M2. So M1 is 6 and M2 is 12 and this is 18. So what will be the specific volume? It will be total volume by total mass. Already the total mass is known. It is 18. Mujo koi problem nahi sir. Total mass is known 18. If somehow I calculate the total volume of the mixture, the problem is solved. But dear students, v1 plus v2 so it means for calculating the total volume i need v1 i need v2 and how do i calculate specific volume is volume by mass or volume is equal to mass into specific volume focus on this so can we write v1 as m1 v1 can we write v2 as m2 v2 yes m1 is given and v1 how do i calculate it is in the wet region so therefore v1 this is in wet region so i how do i calculate v1 it will be vf plus x1 into vg minus vf because it is in wet region already at 0 0.3 megapascal so already at 0 point this is one is at 0.3 megapascal vf vg are given let me check at 0 0.3 megapascal vf is 0 0.001073 0 0.001073 and the dryness fraction is 0.7 into Vg minus Vf. And the quick bar, Vg minus Vf. Vg is 0 0.60582. Vg is 0 0.60582 minus Vf is already known 0 0.001073. So I will get this specific volume V1. So if I check the value, uh, the specific volume is kitana uh, sir V1 ka specific volume. 0 0.4244 0 0.4244 meter cube per kg are yaar, if you calculate this value you get this if i calculate and what is the specific volume of two dear students dekho, one specific volume is known one specific volume is known what is the total volume of this left part it will be mass into specific volume what is the mass of one six kg it is six into 0.4244 and you will get v1 as uh let me check what is v1 2.546 meter cube similarly similarly so now let's come to the second part and you know what is the specific volume of second part? It is second part is on saturated liquid state. So V2 is equal to Vf at 0 0.6. Vf at 0 0.6 bar. Is it bar? Uh, mega Pascal. I'm sorry, sirs. I'm really sorry. 0 0.6 mega Pascal. Okay. So V2 is equal to so at 0 0.6 mega Pascal, it is Vf. V2 is Vf because it is on saturated. 0 0.001101. 0 0.001101. 0 double one zero one okay no problem at all so what will be the volume and if you want volume if you want volume it will be mass into specific volume so mass is 12 kg and the specific volume is 0 0.001101 so you will get the final volume what is the final volume and here v2 will be equal to kitna sir 0.0132 one two so many meter cube so the total volume will be equal to v1 plus v2 total volume is v1 already v1 is known v2 is known if you sum up these two you get 2.546 plus 0 0.013212 so the total volume will be equal to kitna rai sir total volume is uh, i think it is 2.56 2.56 meter cube and he is asking final specific volume so final specific volume is total volume v1 plus v2 total volume already we got v total volume by total mass is uh, 6 plus 12 it is 18 so the specific volume of the mixture is 2.56 by 18 so how much is this uh, 0.1422 0.1422 meter cube per kg it is also a good question point so the answer is 0.1422 meter cube per kg let me check 0.14 yes 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 this is correct this is correct no problem at all now we'll go to the next question. Take this question. This is on second law. Take this question. A heat engine receives heat at 1000 Kelvin. So this is 1000 Kelvin. Let it receive Q1 amount of heat. 
this is a heat engine so let it reject q2 at what temperature it is rejecting i don't know sirs let me check and reject heat to the environment at 300 kelvin so therefore it is 300 kelvin so engine is definitely developing some work ab kya bol raha hai uh, the efficiency of the engine is half of the efficiency of Carnot. So let's calculate the efficiency of this engine Carnot. The Carnot efficiency is given by, already you know, the Carnot efficiency depends only on temperature limits because it is reversible. 1 minus T lower by T higher. Already I had derived this in my regular class, regular class. Okay, no problem at all. No problem whatsoever. No problem at all. Now, chalo. So therefore, the efficiency Carnot is 1 minus T lower is 300 and T higher is 1000. So what is the efficiency of Carnot? It Yes. Now, sorry. So the efficiency of this engine is, uh, let me check, everything is fine now, right. Now, one second please, stop, okay, fine. Uh, it is given that the efficiency of this is half of the Carnot. So therefore, so you know, it is 0.7. So what is the actual efficiency? Half of the Carnot. So if I take half of this, it will be 0.35. Means the efficiency of our engine is 35%, that is 0.35. Okay, then what is he saying? Uh, the work output of the heat engine is completely used to drive a refrigerator. Whatever the work output is obtained, it is used to drive a refrigerator. The refrigerator will absorb heat from lower temperature and throw it to the higher temperature and let this be Q3, let this be Q4, that is Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. This much amount of heat is taken from the storage and this is thrown to surroundings by absorbing heat and thereby lower temperatures are maintained. But what is saying, whatever the work this first one is developing engine, it is completely consumed by the refrigerator and any other data and the heat from the cold space at 260 at the rate of 5.2 it means this lower temperature is 260 kelvin and how much heat it is taking 5.2 let me check 5.2 kilowatt yes kilowatt let me check uh, the refrigerator removes heat from the cold storage which is at 260 at the rate of 5.2 means Refrigerant, our refrigerant is removing heat from the storage which is at 260 at the rate of 5.2 this is given any other data given sir uh, the coefficient of performance of this refrigerator is half of the Carnot uh, uh, COP that operates between these two so then what is the heat supplied to the engine so he is focusing on this value he is focusing on this value but cop of this refrigerator is given what is the cop of this refrigerator the actual cop is half of the carnot's re reversible carnot so half of the carnot refrigerator and you know the cop of carnot refrigerator carnot refrigerator is t lower by t higher minus t lower this is the COP of Carnot refrigerator. So therefore the COP of Carnot refrigerator is T lower. 
What is steel over? It is 216. And this refrigerator is operating. Dekho ek baar, ek second ruko, uh, 260 and reject heat to the same environment at 300. So please look, look at this refrigerator, refrigerant is absorbing and rejecting heat to the environment at 300 Kelvin. This is also given. So the T higher is 300. T higher, T lower is 260. For this refrigerator, lower is 260, higher is 300. So therefore, it is 300, lower is 260. And if you are calculating the COP, how much is the actual COP, Carnot COP? I think 6.5 if I am not wrong. Yes, it is 6.5. But what is the actual COP? The actual COP is half of the Carnot. So therefore, COP actual is equal to 6.5 by 2 and it is 3.25. So this is the actual COP. But now, you can write COP as desired effect, that is Q3. Desired effect by work input W. So what is the COP? 3.25 is equal to Q3 is 5.2 by work input. And from this you get the work input. That is 5.2 by 3.25. 5.25 by 3.25. So it is 1.6 if I am not wrong. 5.2 by 3.25. It is 1.6 exactly. But now what is he asking? What is Q1? And you know the efficiency of the engine is 0.35. Actual efficiency. Efficiency is equal to output by input. Output by input. Output is W and the input is Q1. So therefore 0 0.35 is equal to work. What is work? 1.6. And what is the input? That is Q1. So from this you can calculate Q1 as 1.6 by 0.35. 1.6 by 0.35 is coming out to be 4.57. 1. Correct? Yes. 4.57, 4.57. Let me check this. 1.6 by 1.6 by 0.35. It is 4.57. So you are getting Q1 as 4.57. Let me check. It is 4.57. Where is that? Yes. So he is asking this value. It is 4.57. Absolutely fine. No problem at all. This we have done now. Now, ha. Huh. Very simple question. Let's take this question. In air in a closed system undergoes a thermodynamic process from initial temperature of 300 to the final temperature of 400. The specific heat at constant volume Cv, the value of Cv is given as, dekho, it is a function of temperature. So therefore it is 0.27 into 10 raised to minus 3. So please note down that whenever the specific heat is varying with temperature, it is known as semi-perfect gas. It is not a perfect gas. Ideal gas is of two types that is perfect and semi-perfect. So for perfect gas, uh, both are families of ideal gas only. But for perfect gas, the, uh, the specific heats are independent of temperature. So therefore, it is a function of temperature. So it is not a perfect gas. It is semi-perfect gas. All this I had explained in my regular class. So what is the change in internal energy? You know that internal energy is equal to CVDT. Why are you writing, why are you not writing M? He said per kg, per kg, per kg, therefore CVDT. Exactly. Now, he's asking internal energy change. So therefore, DU is equal to CV. What is CV? Now, 0 0.7 plus 0.27 into 10 k power minus 3 T into DT. And if you want the total internal energy change, if you want the total internal energy change, integrate this from initial to final temperature. That is 0.7 plus 0 0.27 into 10 power minus 3t into dt. And initial temperature is, where is the, what is the initial temperature? 300. And the final is 400. So it is heated from T1 to T2. So let me go to the next slide. So therefore, the total internal energy change is integral. Initial temperature is 300. The final is 400. It is 0.7 plus 0 0.270 into 10 power minus 3 dt. Let me check once whether it is correct or not. 0.7, okay. Plus 0 0.27 into 10 power minus 3, 0.27 into 10 power. Right. Now, so the total internal energy change is given by 0 0.7. What is integral dt? 0.7. What is integral dt? It is t plus 0.27 into 10 power minus 3. What is integral t dt? t dt is t square by 2. And our limits are 300 to 400. So therefore, u2 minus u1 is equal to 0 0.7. Upper limit is 400 and the lower limit is 300 plus 0.27 into 10 power minus 3 by 2. 
but this is by 2 t square it is 400 square minus 300 square so if you are calculating this you get the internal energy change as uh, mm, 79.45 kilojoule per kg thank you my dear students and in the next class i'll come up with unsteady state questions and a second law related questions thank you my dear students please uh, if you really like this just uh, show your gratitude in the form of comments whether these classes are good or not thank you my dear students good luck